or to make sure right, that there's no five. Hey, everybody. Hi, 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 hi. What is up? Yo, Ellie, what's up, brother? What's up, my man? How you doing? I'm I'm good. I showered today. You know, that's <laughs> that's huge for me. I'm actually wearing pants, which is, you know, the first in a while, you know. You just take those off. Cuz no I one can going I mean, out. be comfortable. You're in your house, I assume. Ashley's the one who's been going out for us, so I've just been pantsless, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good move. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So hey folks, welcome to the very first episode of um true voice play stories and if you saw a post somewhere else on uh on the social medias you'll know that this may also be the last true voice play stories <laughs> because we don't know how this is gonna go we thought we'd try it out um hopefully it'll be, experiment hopefully it'll be worth your watch hi folks hi everybody i'm just watching the whole comments thread below. that's right hi, it's hi, like... hi 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 i'm gonna say hi all of you yeah so we're excited to try it out we'll see how it goes um if this does end up being a recurring feature on our channel because we do have so many stories um this will be the one that you could refer to as the one about ellie i think that's you know like it's gonna be the thing did you see that one which one? Oh, the one about ellie, oh, about ellie. Oh, i did i did see that one yeah i did see that one yeah so there are others too but this is the one that's made it here so this will be the, the one that we have laughed about maybe the most you and i anyway for sure yeah. it was it was funny after <laughs> <laughs> i think it's funny during still so shall we roll those credits what do you say let's do it now voice play has been together a long time and through the many years, we have had our ups and downs, our travels and trials, but they have made us who we are. And now it's time to share some of those adventures with you. It's time for True Voice Play Stories. It's true. We it's absolutely true. Up. We didn't. didn't make it up. So this is the story about a man named Ellie and the crazy thing that happened to him slash all of us. Um, we should uh, we should talk a little bit. This is just I should preface this by saying this is a complex story. So I've got is. some notes over here on this screen. So if you see me looking off this way, it's, I don't want to miss anything because there's a lot that goes into this, right? There is a lot. It is, there is, it is complex, lot. not con, you know, not like not too complex, but it's just, there's a bit of story here. There is a bit of story. Okay. So let's start, yeah. let's tell these folks about, um, traveling. So we travel, we used to travel a lot. No one's traveling anymore, obviously. Not right now. Yeah. Um, but when we do travel, how, how would how do you find it? How do you find the travel? It depends, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> it does. It does. Depend. You know, lot lots of turbulence in an airplane. Not my favorite thing, but we get through it. Mm -hmm. um, but but okay. So you know, a lot of times we're in a couple of vans. There have been like tour buses in the past, but mm -hmm. um, but by and large, if we're just kind of uh, popping in for a few days in an area then we'll we'll jump in or we'll fly in i should say um and um get a couple vans and we'll drive to the first venue and then stay and then we'll drive to the next venue and it's sort of like that a bit That's like right. a caravan it's a, it's a ton of work it's a lot of work it can be a lot of fun it's a ton of work That's true but it, it is, is difficult tiring. to um it's difficult to, to get sleep which is kind of super important for um singers but we should say <laughs> that our friend earl can sleep anywhere and anywhere. there he is literally on the stage asleep i'm so jealous there he is um yeah so so it can be difficult if not impossible to like get a nap and that's super duper duper important now let's talk about what a typical show day looks like shall we absolutely so you're yep. mentioning that we um that we uh get up in the morning we we head to the airport 
we do all the things. And then uh, I think I actually have a schedule here real quick. I'm going to show you guys. It can be it can be daunting. So this is yeah. what our show schedule was, tends to look like. I was going to say 3.30, 4 a.m. is yep. the wake up. Wake up, 6 a.m. flight. We That's land right. around noon, depending on where we're going. And then it's like we got to arrive at the venue at 2, and then it's a 4.30 sound check, and then 7.30 showtime, typically sometimes 8 o'clock. And then like a 9.30 meet and greet after the show, after we've done a 45-minute set, 15-minute intermission, then another 45-minute set with possibly an encore. So we hit that meet and greet, do some signing, shake some hands, tell everybody how awesome they were. And then we do breakdown, and maybe we'll eat something, maybe. And then yeah. we go to the hotel, 11.30. That sound about right to you, Ellie? Yeah, that's about, that's about yeah. average right there. That sounds good. That sounds good for for the for at least the first day, you know, particularly. Yes. So now, this uh, this particular event that we're going to talk about, we had a schedule very similar to that, right? It was exactly like that. I would I would say. Yeah. Yeah. So we had this kind of schedule, and we had been having that kind of schedule for a couple of days in a row, and then the morning in question that we're about to talk about, uh, we had a workshop. Um, and can you explain a little bit about what that is, Ellie? Yeah. So, so sometimes, and we did this a lot in the past. We we, ha we haven't been doing it recently, but um, but basically, Obviously, what happens, because nobody can leave their house. That's true. Is that um, at, oftentimes at colleges, sometimes at high schools, um, we will um, go and do sort of a session with the music students um, yep. or with the singers of said school. And um, sometimes they'll perform for us um, and we'll kind of give them some tips or sometimes we'll, we'll sing for them, you know, a little bit too. Um, anyways, it's just sort of a, what we call like an outreach. Like we want to, we want to kind of share our knowledge and um, our experience with uh, people that are younger than us. Yeah. And they're like in the acapella, you're right, right, right. Like sharing our experiences is super important and then getting, giving them feedback on how they're doing and all the whole thing. So we had a workshop the morning after this crazy schedule with a collegiate acapella group. Um, we were going to impart some wisdom, some aca wisdom on them. Uh, so we knew we had that and we, we knew we were like, so we finished the show, we did the thing, we went back to the hotel, we we're trying to get as much sleep as we could. Right. Anybody right. have any questions so far? I feel like I'm ignoring the comments. So I want to make sure yeah. everybody is like, you know, yeah, well, up to speed. What we're trying it'll be a little to delay, but we'll check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's a small delay here. What we're trying to impart is that traveling is hard, uh, sleep is important, and we were very, very busy at this particular moment in time. That's the scene. We're trying to set this scene. I'm waiting yeah, for a the lot going on to, to pop up. Hello, voice play. Love your music. Why, well, thank you, gnome, gnome ones. Gnome one? Oh, I like that. Who are you? I'm gnome one. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just checking the comments to make sure. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Ellie. Yeah, Hi, I'm King looking Pepper. at them, too. How are you? Okay. Hey, Jeff, why do you and Tim have the same gray stripe of hair? I know. It's my favorite question so far. And because <laughs> we're the same person. All good. Everyone's, everyone's good. Everyone's good. Okay, good. We're good. Yeah. All right. So we're moving along. So. We do the show, we, we travel, we fly, we, die. we do the show that night, go back to the hotel. We're hanging out at the hotel. We're trying to go to sleep. We finally get to sleep, wake up early the next morning because I think this thing was like it. I think we had to be up around six because there was a little bit of a drive involved and then we had like right. eight o'clock. Why anybody would make a collegiate acapella group sing at eight o'clock in the morning is absolutely beyond me. However, scheduling, man, you know? Yep, scheduling. It does not take a hero to sing bass in the morning, but I did feel bad for everybody else who wasn't a base. So tier. most, most people. So we go to this uh, college and what now, now refresh my memory. What happened next? Did this start happening to you in the van ride over or like once we got so to the, the, I think the first moment that I recognized anything was actually in the van about to leave uh like i was i was in there with earl yes and um and and i was like something let me let me ask a few questions to see 
I need to take the temperature of this situation. <laughs> Go on, tell me more. Am I being, I'm am I being well, I'm trying to be nebulous yet because I feel like there's still more to kind of set up a little bit. Well, let's just say like on the ride over, you're, you're in the car where you're in the van with Earl and on the ride over, you started to feel a little, a little weird. Yeah. Would you say? I, well, and sometimes, you know, you, you, depending on where you've flown into, you don't know what the elevation is. And we live in Florida, which is sea level, Flat. you know, right. we're, we're, yeah. we're underwater. Mm -hmm. you know and so um and so any elevation can sometimes you know make you feel a little funny a little wibbly wobbly as it yeah were. something something different you know you're a not getting the same wimey. oxygen and such so i check with earl and i go i go hey man what's the, the elevation here and he looks at me and he goes nope like, oh, it's, it's it, like 100 100 feet it's not it's nothing you know maybe, maybe 50 feet you know it's not it's really not a lot he looks on his phone and he's like, nah, nothing nah, there. Good. So, so we're driving over. Ellie starts to feel a little weird. We, um, we get into the, to the venue. I think this is kind of like a smallish classroom, like a, like a chorus classroom. If you can imagine that they have like, right. tiered seating and, um, and this was a thing that had been teased at the show the previous night. So some of the public had kind of like filtered in to see, to hear us sing off mic and like catch some tips and pointers and such or just be entertained so we had some some members of the public were there and of o course the other students mostly though other students true yeah. and then of course the the other group was there as well so we walk in we sit down we always like to start with like a, a song to open up and earl kind of had a feeling that or he earl already knew that ellie was feeling a little Wobbly. It was actually we 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 knew going into this that it was going to be like actually going into our first song that it, there uh -huh. was a problem. We like like it, we figured it out. We diagnosed yes. it at this point in time. I just don't know if you want to tell them yet. No, 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 not so, not yet. Because the rest of us, like like Lane, right. myself, and and Jay, uh, were a little like, what, hey, what um what's going on with Ellie? Because he's crazy pants Magoo right now. So. So that being the that being the the scene at the moment, let's go back. Shall we go back? Let's go back. Okay, let's go back. Okay. So now, when we travel, um, can you tell me how you pack your bags? Right. Uh, my wife packs my bags uh, for me. It's just a thing that we've done since. Uh, since we were boyfriend and girlfriend, she thinks it's being help. You know, she wants to be helpful, and and so she she a lot of times just uh, you know she knows the 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 stuff and she throws it in there and she goes okay you got to look it over before we you know before you leave. But and this just, is this is a picture of this is a picture That's of you Ashley. and and your wife. Yeah, well, and obviously uh, you know That's somebody you, else right? that you guys might yeah. recognize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a sweet guy, that Kevin. He is a sweet fella. Did you know he yeah. speaks Mandarin? I did not know that. Oh, you know what? There may have been a conversation somewhere in there because between Japanese and Mandarin, we we may have had a crossover he's, in conversation. He's a super talented fellow, that Kevin. He is. He's super. All right, so there's so there's Ashley, and she is packing your bags for you because she's an angel. That's right. Um, so she packs your bags, and we should also also mention that back home you have allergies. It, it, everybody who lives in Florida has yeah. allergies, and things I have are bad especially right now. bad allergies, and um, yeah, it, it's a, I, so I take um, you know typically a Zyrtec, mm -hmm. you know, is is kind of my daily thing. You know, if it if it's not so bad, then I'll go down. I won't take as much of it or whatever, you know. But but um, but basically, I take a Zyrtec pill a day. I mean, that's especially during the season, you know. Yeah, and, and the season's um, now, right? The season's right now for sure. Totally. Yeah. Oh, someone, someone saying Brandy Jones says, wait, Ellie speaks Japanese. Ellie, would you? Hi, Chotodake Nihongo desne. Watachi no Nihongo wa heta desne. There you go. Maybe not as, good, not as good as it used to be, but I could get back into it. I just need an excuse. I can do it. Put me in, coach. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, so, we're, so we're going back. Ashley packs your bags. You take Zyrtec for your allergies. Um, we already mentioned that it is hard to get sleep on the road. And it's tough because I think, and you had been talking about like tour buses and stuff too. We were on the road with the sting off in a tour bus. Yeah. So my two afflictions essentially are mild 
Okay, so I don't have any like um, anaphylactic or like dangerous allergies or anything like that. I want to be clear, but I do have some very um, frustrating for a singer allergies, right? That I take the Zyrtec yes. for. Mm -hmm. My other issue is that I don't sleep so soundly often, right? Anything sure. can wake me up, and then when I'm awake, I'm awake. And um, on the the tour bus for the first sing off tour. It was it was kind of difficult for me to sleep because I was adjusting to um, the tour bus. I was on the bottom bunk. I could hear the entire road, and I was you know just imagine having a dream about not being in control of the car. I don't know, you mm -hmm. know, like all that sort of thing. Um, and so the first sing off tour was difficult for me to sleep. And knowing that the second sing off tour was coming up, that's when I when I had a chat with my doctor and was like, "Hey, man." can you help is there a safe way to help me get through this sort of scenario and he's like he did just like this he scratched his head and he goes he's like, yeah of course yeah i think you just need like you know half an ambien he's got a he's got an accent mm -hmm. um i think you need just half an ambien when you need it don't take it every night you know kind of thing you know just as as needed sort of thing sure and i was like all right so i tried it out for the sing-off tour and and it it was it worked like a champion i didn't have to take it every night i eventually relax a little bit and then um you know i just have it when i get into different um time zones and things like right. that I'd sometimes, sometimes it's just like super necessary you just know like you come off yeah. the stage and you're just wired you're like i'm not gonna sleep yeah I, need exa I have exactly eight hours you or know i have I mean? exactly four hours or whatever right. it is you're just like i need to i need to go can go we just sleep. go yeah, yeah. Can we just go like real quick? You were talking about the tour bus, and I want to just I want to have you describe the uh, the smell of <laughs> of the tour bus, if you could. Well, we well, were we were on board. How many people we were? Twelve people on our bus. Is that 12. right? 12. Well, th thirteen, including the driver, right? Including the driver. Yep. That was thirteen then. Yeah. Th those of you out there that think uh, uh, tour life is like this glamorous, amazing thing. Uh, at the right level, it probably is. But when you're touring with a sing-off tour, <laughs> I, I always I always feel like if you go back, there's like a Simpsons episode where there are these guys that like show up at the school and they do like yo-yo tricks and whatever. And then they get thrown in the back of the van like, you're going to the next school now. That's what it, right. they were very kind to us. They were, it actually was not so bad. No. There, but there, But there were times when everyone was like, someone needs to shower. And I just did. So it was probably crazy. me. I don't like showing. Do, 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 do. We're like looking around for the person a little bit, right? Right. Um, okay. So, so that, that was sometimes so, a thing. Yeah. Sometimes it was a little stinky on board, or a lot of times. All right. So so Ellie now has um, with him. We've established he has uh, Zyrtec and Ambient. Okay. So let's go. For, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go right. back forward. Present time. We are at the um we're at the the workshop the outreach with this collegiate group the public is there in the stands and they're they're waiting for us to do something we're singing our first song and um and ellie is behaving strangely wouldn't you say describe how 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 weird you were being to me well okay so from my perspective it wasn't mm -hmm. weird at all i no, was, no, no, being it was super weird com completely normal i felt very strange I, my memory of it is not so uh, clear. There are some <laughs> clear things, but um, I, I believe like, I was I believe consciously one of the, unconscious. <laughs> yeah, I believe one of the things that was happening, there was a question asked and somehow Ellie went off on this uh, tangent. Oh, I remember that. About like fire breathing dragons or uh, I remember the like, question, actually. Like buttered toast wearing pants. It was very strange. I was trying it was to- super duper uh, weird. Okay, so the question was, um, would we ever consider doing a Renaissance piece, right? And I was trying to explain the difference of like, whether or not it was it, there was a reason to do it, right? And mm -hmm. and I was trying to explain like, well, on our, our, um, our show, we use like video. And so a lot of times the interstitial video is, it has the emotion of like, what the um the piece is and you know like i don't know like what's the idea for a renaissance thing i mean we could just sing a nice song 
but maybe it would be even better if we had a gigantic fire breathing dragon come in and like minstrels and like all this other stuff. But I don't think it came out that coherently. No, no, no. It sounded a lot like ah, dragons. Ah, ah, ah. And like you were feeling it was touching. Like there was a, you didn't know what to do with your hands. Is a memory. Oh I yeah. Have. I don't remember so, that. So Ellie was behaving strangely and the rest of us didn't exactly know what was going on, but um, Ellie kind of knew what had happened. So we, we sent Ellie out into the audience. I was like, Ellie, just go take a break, man. Just go, just go sit. Yeah, sit go down. have a seat up here. Uh, and then when we told you to sit down, what happened? I fell asleep. You did. You fell asleep. I didn't mean um, to. You but did. I immediately fell asleep. <laughs> so, I, I, maybe I should say I lost consciousness. <laughs> yeah. So so maybe some of you out there have already like figured out what happened to Ellie, but we were all like, what on earth is going on? Ellie, can you tell everybody what you did? Yeah. So Ashley, being the sweetheart that she is, knows that I kind of like um need all these things, right? But that I'm always having a problem with space. There's always too much in the kit, you know, of toiletries and stuff like that. And there's, and such like that. So to try to help me out, um, she put all of the medicine in one sort of container. I don't know if you've ever seen the little like um, sort of generic uh, medicine looks, container. Looks like this, right, right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, so so they were all in there, right? And um, in a rush, I I was like having a problem the day before, especially like really bad problems with my allergies and my sinuses. Plus, when you're in a new environment, things can be really bad. So I I was like, oh man, I'm late. I'm never late. I get I get really concerned and nervous if I'm going to be super late. So I run back to, real quickly and grab the um, grab the Zyrtec. And I, I pop the Zyrtec and I run out the door and I sit in the van with Earl. And, you know, about 10 minutes later, I go, what's, what's the elevation here? Because I was <laughs> feeling strange. And then a, a little bit later, I go, that wasn't Zyrtec. Oh, no. That was Ambien. <laughs> How could this have happened, Ellie? How did this happen? Well, is it? It's is it because they look exactly they the look same. exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny about yeah, yeah, so that's why you don't do that. Just safety. Like this is actually a cautionary tale at the end of the day. It's funny <laughs> after the fact because I'm okay, but please be careful, ladies and gentlemen. I do not suggest this. Also, if you're from Ambien or Zyrtec. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys have a meeting or something? I'll happily come in as a consultant. We'll tell the story again, or you can play this. Whatever. This is how. This is how. This is the story of what what I thought was going to be an interesting story about you ended up being the story about how our YouTube channel got demonetized. <laughs> yeah. This well, this We're this, this is this just about safety. This is a yes. cautionary tale. So I Ellie be took clear. the wrong pill because wrong pill. He put them both in the same container to save space. Completely my fault. Yes. I should have known better. Way to go, bud. Um, so uh, so let's go back, let's go back now. So we're back in the, Ellie just went to sit down. He went to sit down and he sits in his chair and he falls asleep. Now, like my favorite- My head just popped back. <laughs> my favorite moment of this, I wish I had a picture because it was so good. My favorite moment of this is uh, his head falls backwards and he was wearing a hat and his hat falls off, boom, 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 into the aisle behind him. And this nice old lady who was, uh, who was in the audience reaches down and she picks up his hat and she goes, excuse me, sir, did you drop this? And do you know what Ellie did? He said, he was out, he was so out. Oh man, it was, it was hilarious, it was so funny. And it, like, was, we, it was funny, I felt terrible after yes. that. I felt terrible. It was pretty awesome. For the whole so we we have but, since um, we have since talked about this story so many times, and it it's, I think it gets 
more funny every time we talk about it. Just like it's true. Everyone ended up okay, so it's fine. Everyone did. End up, in fact, the, the the end client was the the per person who booked us was there, and she's like, "Oh man, I've totally done that before." And I'm like, "What? That's right. Know, this is the common thing that happens to people." Like, oh yeah, I remember that. Yes. Totally. You know what's funny is I maybe you guys didn't know this, but I talked to her before we went to sing. We didn't know anything, Ellie. No, I I no. What I'm saying is. Is is I felt strange and I I was like you didn't know anything no but I talked to her and she was and literally she goes like that go I don't know how to tell you this I just don't want the other guys to to take the hit for this I made a mistake and I'm really embarrassed about it but I think it's gonna get worse before it gets better I took the wrong pill and it was oh. an Ambien instead of a Zyrtec and she goes oh sweetheart I've done that before. <laughs> It's true. It is true. And what did we learn from this true voice play story, Ellie? When you when you travel now, I no so. longer pack that way. No, that's good. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's true. That's good. So there you go. Episode one, true voice play stories. That is a uh, that happened. I hope it was an average time for everybody. Um, <laughs> oh, someone's asking what King Viper asks. What year did this happen? Do you do you know you remember what year this was? This was uh this was a few this was a few years ago. I want to say it was like three or four years it, ago. It was whatever year the sing off tour one was. I'm not sure. I think it's like three years ago. Could have been three years ago. It feels, yeah. well, it feels right. Do you want to take some questions from the crowd real quick and then yeah, we'll, let's do it. Then we'll go do some something stuff. busy in quarantine. Because that's what that's we right. do these days. Ah, oh, thank you. Um, let's go read. Nice. Uh, bass song. Let's see. This is moving quickly now. Um, we need more. Okay, good. We'll do. We have so many more stories. We want to tell you the one. I want to tell. If we do oh. this again, I want to tell the story about America's Got Talent. Were you there for that? You weren't there for that. I was not there. That was in a window. Oh, um, just be thankful you weren't there for there, that one. There, there is a question that I, I think is a good question um, fr from Julia. Um, she asks, how did the college acapella group respond to this whole thing? And I have to say there were, so there were actually two girls groups there that, that also sang together sometimes. How and do you remember this? I don't remember the day very well, but the next day we did a performance in a neighboring town. The reason why I remember is because I walked up to the girls that were performing with us that day as an opener and I apologized to them. And I said, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to fall asleep. This is the whole story. I don't want you guys to think I'm some weird guy. I've never had this happen before. And I just really want to let you know that I, I respect what you do. And I'm sorry that this is a thing that happened. I'm super embarrassed. And um, and they were all amazing about it. They didn't make me feel weird or whatever. They were like, you're good. Thank you for telling us. We just w w hoped you were okay. Like and all this other stuff. And I was like, I'm so sorry I fell asleep in the middle of your set. That's ridiculous. Like, I don't really have an excuse except for this, you know. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was very magnanimous of you. Um, I have this is funny. This this person, uh, yeah, this person must be a, a patron or a YouTube member. She, she a he or she said uh, Keller fourteen said next episode, shiver me timbers. And that's <laughs> it's definitely on the list. Um, you can tell by Ellie's laugh that he's he's ready to go with that Once one. Once again, wasn't um, funny when it was happening. <laughs> who is the next story going to be about? I don't know what the next story is going to be about. Um, somebody said, oh, here we go. Jordan Robinson says, thank you for the story, Ellie. Thank you for the story, Ellie. Uh, I needed a couple of good laughs to bring my spirits up today. We had so many good laughs about that at the time. Didn't you guys well, tell me like, not like We weren't laughing with Ellie. We were laughing with him. And we were laughing at Ellie. And then with him, maybe like the day after. Didn't you guys say that, like, because this I don't remember, that I was singing with you and you were like, you were in key, but you were just really loud. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Something like that. The other thing was like a little slurred and it was like, it was like you were in slow motion or something. I really was in slow motion. It's bad. I don't know what the I side effects are of, of, of to trying to do. Like, that's like a, 
I feel our sound guy Paul will sometimes say like that's like a thing you could do. You take Ambien or Lunesta, and then you try to see who can stay awake the longest. That's a bad I, idea. I don't know. He's in. I don't like that idea. <laughs> yeah, don't. I'm not encouraging anybody to do that. Don't ever do that. Our, our Here's the thing: is if you're, he'll correct me about that. He's like, I never said that. Here's the thing about that: is if you're really trying to do that, you don't need it. You yes. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's the thing: is like, don't only take it if you need it, and if you're doing that, you don't need it. I can attest to that. Someone's saying, read the comments, please. I'm trying to read read the comments on the no. video or the comments in the the live chat because I can't see the comments on the video currently. Oh yeah, um, Hang on. maybe I can figure that out. Uh, Jeff, you should right. sing "Cabin Fever" from Muppets Treasure Island. That, yeah. I love the Muppets. I do um, too. Jeff, why do I sound like a man when I wake up? I'm a 12 year old girl. I don't. <laughs> I can't answer that for you. <laughs> I would need more information. Yeah. Um, oh, this is funny. Ellie had slow mode turned on. He did. Yes. In real life. And how actual... long did the Ambien last, Ellie? This is a good question. Eight eight hours? No, because here's here's the thing um, that makes it worse and, and maybe dangerous um, is that I don't think it was dangerous because he the, the doctor always told me that I could take one, but I probably only needed half. Mm -hmm. So I only have ever I had only ever taken half. So that was the first time I had ever taken a whole. So from the moment that we were done with that, which luckily we did not have a performance that night, we only had that workshop that day. I slept from, what, what time was that workshop? It was in the morning. It was in the morning, it was like eight. So when we got finished with that, I think that I, um, someone helped me get something to, like to eat. And then I went to sleep from whenever that was that I got into the room until like nine o'clock at night or something yes like that it was about right it was a whole lot of hours and then i woke up and i hung out for a couple hours and i fell back asleep which was lucky <laughs> <laughs> um i see another we're gonna take like maybe one or two more questions and then we're gonna have to or one or two more comments and then we're gonna have to run here uh david zap what's up dave uh, I had sub bass for backtrack before, and when you're super nervous with a group you've never sang with before, you start misreading the set list. That happens. I have uh, done that before. And what's terrible about the way we do shows <laughs> is that is that we have um, uh, a pitch in our that like comes from a computer, and it's all like linear, right? So I just hit advance on a remote control from a stage, and it gives us the pitch in our ears. And if I call the wrong song by accident the wrongs the wrong well the right pitch like to the a, song yeah. that's supposed to be there plays and then everyone's you have the wrong song yeah because i and especially when it's a long intro and not to mention sometimes you just can't do it but also it's there's video that is synced to what we're doing and so it can be it can be a disaster but usually somebody like somebody else and it's it's often me is like that's not the right one. <laughs> or or you'll turn around and be like, hold on. Let's let's try that again. And it only happens once in a while because you're perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, Jessica Brown says, Jeff, Scott Nolda from Missouri went to college with you. Scott Nolda from Missouri. Okay. Uh, I mean, that was old. That was like 120 years ago. Uh, introduce me my family to you. You can say uh, voice play much love from Illinois. We live, we love Illinois. We used to be there all the time. Not so much anymore, obviously. Uh, Luna, Jeff, did you get the package with the birthday gift for William? I did, and I did. And I thought, well, I know I, I think I sent you something back in the mail, so you should be getting something at some point. You, you don't live in this country, so that, that makes it hard. But thank you so much for that. Thank you. Um, one more thing here. Where are we? Um, oh, I saw somebody say, "Are you ever? Are you ever going to do a Beetlejuice cover?" I saw that a Beetlejuice I did, song. Yeah, well, yeah, it just happened. Will you ever consider doing a cover of a Beetlejuice song? Uh, we are in the process of working on a Aka Top Ten movie themes. That's I don't know if that's going to be next, but it's coming soon. So there is something Beetlejuice in there. You'll just have to wait. See, look at that. We normally don't announce stuff like that, but no, that's you right. get, you get a special, are. little special thing for joining So on us. that note, Ellie, shall we say bye-bye? 
Jeff, we should say bye bye. It's been we amazing should. to see everybody, and thank you so much for all your comments, and your questions, and for listening to our zany sort of scary slash it all worked out in the end story. And we hope that you will come back for more true voice voice play stories. If we do this ever again. If we ever do this again. Right. <laughs> okay. Well said. Well spoken. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everybody. See, see you all. Guys. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.